Just 10 cents a day helps fund local programs like Scenic Stops, Northwest Ohio Journal, and BGSU Brain Game. Watch, connect, explore. We agree with some historians who think it's the premier building in Toledo. It's the oldest commercially still in use. We were thrilled to have it a public building again. It's got such rich history here. It's said that Lincoln was here. So it really has played a part in a lot of Toledo history and, and now is again. Currently, the Oliver House not only is a public with the restaurants, we have a bar, Mutt's, we have the Rockwell Steakhouse, we have the Mommy Bay Brewing Company, and we have Petaphor's Patisserie and Cafe. So it's open, you can get food and substance all day and night. Basically, it's like it was. We haven't changed it. You can see how the windows were arranged. Uh, the glass is not original, but the, all the molding and, and so forth is. The historic lobby has been the scene of most of the weddings. It's, it's a part of the fabric of Toledo. William Oliver was a serviceman in the War of 1812 and came up from Cincinnati and was serving here. After the war, he went back to Cincinnati, got some partners, came up to Toledo, bought some land, platted it all out, and uh, nothing happened, so it all, the whole thing kind of fell apart. Oliver came back to Toledo on his, more on his own. He uh, decided to build a hotel, contracted another person from Cincinnati named Isaiah Rogers. Isaiah Rogers was called the father of the modern hotel. They started building in 1853, but it opened in June of 1859. I like to say it took seven years for them to build it and seven years for us to renovate it. I've learned so much since I started. It's a it's pretty amazing building, and it, I think it's honestly the most beautiful brew pub I've ever been to. I've learned a lot, and I continue to learn a lot about the history of the Oliver House. It's very unique. I think it's very significant that it was a part of the Underground Railroad. It was a bomb shelter a safe place to come. We, the water tanks are still in the basement for uh, civil defense. Not so pleasant, but was a good deed, was that the building was used as an infirmary for a, a period of time for s veterans of the Spanish-American War, which is appropriate because we have a huge photograph that was located and, and um, determined to be taken from this building of the Spanish-American soldiers, probably from the whole region because there are hundreds of them, marching uh, on the streets here and in, in anticipation of going off to war. We have numerous experiences with ghosts. Spirits, happy spirits, they're all very positive. We have never had anything negative. There's a good spirit about the building. I have a lot of people tell me that they see apparitions We've had ghost hunters come in and spend the evening. I was closing up downstairs and there was somebody seemed like walking behind me whistling and I could hear a very happy tune. Uh, there wasn't anything open down there. There weren't any businesses down there at the time when I got here. And uh, there wasn't anyone else in the building. Uh, none of the music was turned on. And I thought it was pretty eerie. It came across as a little strange. And about a week later, our night manager uh, came to me. She didn't know that I had that experience, came up and said, uh, Last night I was downstairs closing up and I heard somebody whistling. I couldn't find anybody, so it really scared me and I, and I left the building. I've heard stories from uh, coworkers and other people, but I, I personally haven't had any experiences. Now, I gladly serve them a pint, but you know, nope. We do give tours, you know, people love the old building, they like to look around, um, hear about the old hotel, uh, what it used to be, uh, see what it is today. We have been for 20 years or more trying to accumulate photographs. The oldest we can get is uh, based on the autom age of the automobiles parked in front, Model T's but we would love to get more. Someday we will have a space that we will incorporate all of those artifacts and photographs that we do have. The Bruania collection is on view. We have a lot of artifacts that are from Toledo, part of Toledo history. And there's some antique uh, or old uh, cartoons and, and advertising here uh, from the days when Buckeye Beer uh, was in Toledo uh, operating uh, uh, you know, as a regional beer. 
even though we have a lot of beer uh, and we have bars, uh, it's really a warm, uh, friendly uh, atmosphere, particularly in the brew pub. It's just a great place. Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org slash pledge.